I'm going to show you how to install a window air conditioning unit. So let's just open this up. Now one of the first things you want to look is this will cool a 150 square foot room. It's 5,000 BTUs and you should figure out the size of the room or the area that you're trying to cool. So this would be like a 10 foot by 15 foot room would be fine. This little piece, uh, you're going to need to have this to uh, attach the, so the piece here is going to be what you attach to the top. Uh, this is what holds the air conditioner in the, the window. Um, and then these are the side panels, so we'll get that a second. Now be very careful, the back of this is razor sharp, so I'll show you that in a second. Never touch the fins, these are like razor blades. Uh, if you ever do, you'll never forget it again. They will cut you very bad. So make sure not to, to touch the back. So always handle from the sides or the front when lifting this. So if you're trying to figure out what size air conditioner, here you can have what how many BTUs, and then it'll give you approximately how many square feet that will cool. So take anything that's side and cover that pull this out now we're going to want this uh, angled piece and what we're going to do is this is the front so the, the higher end goes towards the front and this is because the window will come down and this will rest on that window to keep it from falling out So my suggestion, cover this up. You don't want to drop a screw in there. If you do, uh, that can cause problems. So what we're going to do is we're going to line these three holes up to these three holes. And we're going to use those short screws that have come in the pack. So we have these little machine screws. Uh, they're they're self-tapping. Uh, so that's what we're going to use, those three little ones that come in the pack. You can do it with a screwdriver it's just a lot quicker if I do it with a power drill so line the screws up okay now the rest of these screws could be used for mounting to uh, depending on what window you're using here's your foam Next what we're going to do is we're going to attach the side panels. So with this, all we need to do, so with this what we're going to do is one end will clip into the panels and the other side just has this little wedge that goes into these notches. So now we're going to install this. So it's got a little hard piece of plastic and it's going to slide into here. So let's get that started. Just slide it through the three of these. So that's done. Now at this point you need to make sure you know which one of these goes in which direction. So I want to have this upper lip match this lip. So I'm going to move this. So I'm going to slide this through. This can come out and you hear snap. That means it's locked in place. That's what you want. So now it, it'll move back and forth with this unit as you extend it to fill up the, uh, the space where the, the window is. Again, don't touch the back here. Alright, so here, again, on the other side, so we're going to do the same th thing on this side. So we're going so to slide this on.
All right. Again, you want to make sure that this this L here, this high point goes towards the inside of the room and the low point goes to the outside of the room as it's going to be resting on the window. So we're just going to move that in. There's a bracket on the bottom here that I'm trying to slide this piece of plastic into. And once you get that, now we're going to snap this in place again. Once it's snapped in, it'll move back and forth. This will keep the air from coming in and out. And usually I'll tape up any gaps that I see uh, just to make sure I don't have air coming into the room. So, the next thing we need to do is get the window open. So open your blinds, unlock your windows, pull the window up, then you're going to want to get your screen open. Now at this point in time, if you wanted to, you can put a block of wood or something out here to help support the air conditioning unit. Uh, for this it's pretty light, I'm not going to worry about it, but for some of the very large units I would definitely uh, recommend that. So, again, when you lift, lift with the legs. Don't lift with your back. Don't want to throw your back out. You're going to put that in about center. And you can pull down the screen. And then pull down the window. And at this point, the air conditioner can actually hang out on the window. Now, if the window goes up, the air conditioner will go outside. Uh, that would be a bad day. Um, so until I have it either screwed in or some other way to secure it, I just hold on to the, the front of the air conditioning unit. Okay. Um, at this point, so at this point I would like to try it out before I get everything secured. I'm just going to plug this in. Uh, make sure that the fan works. Okay. Make sure the high fan works. So this is high air conditioning, low air conditioning. Now that I know everything is working, uh, I'll secure everything. So now they have a series of brackets, uh, depending on how you want to secure this, uh, and the screws. What I've seen most of the time is uh, you'll just take a screw and put it through this window. Make sure that this is lining up where the glass is not. If you do hit the glass, it will break, uh, but on most wood and vinyl windows, uh, this is far enough away that you can just use that screw hole. Um, and if you had some of the older windows that were like the wooden windows, this one would fit very nicely and you'd be able to screw right into the, the wood. But this is a replacement window, so um, there's nothing really to screw into here. Me personally, I just use packaging tape and it gives a nice seal around all the edges. Uh, it holds it in place as well and I haven't had an issue. But if you are in an area that is prone to burglary or breaking and entering, um, you may want to also, you could place a block of wood above the window to keep the window from going up. Uh, the other one is just get it screwed in and, and that would help to prevent anyone from entering. So. And there's a gap that's usually underneath the air conditioner. Again, any place you have a leak for air, uh, you're paying for cooling that air. So seal up all the holes.
People don't think about this, but there is a gap up here at the top of the window. That's why they give you this insulation. So what you want to do is just take and shove that insulation down in the window. That way it's not leaking up here. And then you could just rip that off, or I just leave it up here in case I need it later. If the air conditioner is going in a bedroom and it's someplace that you're really sensitive to light, if you wanted to, you can actually block this out with um, like cardboard or uh, aluminum foil or something and just tape it over it. It would help to insulate it more uh, and it also keeps the light out. So, hope that was helpful. Please subscribe and I hope you have a great day.